Hi, it's Presley at Ecto Games. Duck, come here. And today we're at the comic boy, uh, boy? Comic <laughs> boy? What, what? Comic book store. And uh, we've been in London for a while, so um, we haven't actually been able to come here and get any comic books. So there's a bunch of new ones. There's a new Squirrel Girl, a new Gotham Academy, a new Lum Lumberjanes, a new Tomboy. All sorts of new comic books that we're going to check out when we get home. And I'm really excited. Um, right now we're just looking around. And ooh, nice, new Paper Girls. <laughs> Can't show it very well. Paper Girls. Yay! Okay, um, but yeah, we're just grabbing them and checking them out when we get home. Okay, so we're back home, and here are all my comics. Um, these are only the ones that I read. My dad got a bunch and read those too. But here are my comics. So, um, what we've been reading recently is Tomboy, Squirrel Girl, Gotham Academy, Princeless, Silk, Lumberjanes, Miss Marvel, Paper Girls, and Doctor Strange. Um, that's kind of a long list of things, but they're all really good. And if you're going to um, read comic books, these are definitely ones that you should definitely check out if you aren't reading them already. Or if you want to get started reading comic books, these are definitely really great starters because the stories are really in-depth and they're fairly easy just to read and get really engrossed in the story. So um, my favorites that we have this um, month, <laughs> it's not, uh, my favorites that we have this month, are Gotham Academy and Squirrel Girl. Um, this Gotham Academy yearbook series was kind of a series where Max kind of goes and tells stories about what happened over the year. And it's a really nice, really cute little simple series. This is actually the book that's wrapping it up. Um, but it was a really cute, simple series and it showed a lot of stories. And what I really liked with this one and the whole series in general is it's kind of playing along with an adventure that Max and Olive went on. And they're going on the adventure and then it'll do the thing um, there's a word for it, I forgot what it is, but where they'll say, oh yeah, it's like what happened back and blah blah blah, but you don't know what happened then. Except what it'll do is maps will say, oh yeah, I did a driving test a while ago. And then it will do like a little comic about the driving test, it's only a couple pages long. And it's really nice and gives you a lot of backstory on all the characters. And it's just super simple and cute and easy and definitely a really great starter for the uh, Gotham Academy yearbook series. And then, um, Squirrel Girl is just really funny. Um, where this is basically um, Squirrel Girl tries online dating, it fails, and she just keeps, she kind of does like a little, I don't know, like a comic montage, if that makes any sense, of the different dates she's going on and why she didn't pick them. And then towards the end, a uh, villain shows up and she finally gets to do what she loves doing, which is to kick butt and not to go on dates. So it was really funny and just, uh, I really like comic books that can be like just really really funny and then they get a little bit more serious towards the end and this one does it really perfectly as it's really funny and then a super and then a super villain shows up and it's just and there's also a character like the she's going on a date with this guy and he doesn't believe superheroes exist and she's just getting really upset because Squirrel Girl is a superhero, and she's just getting super upset that he keeps thinking that Squirrel, that Squirrel Girl and all these superheroes don't exist. And then a supervillain shows up and she gets to kind of show off, um, but it kind of ends like right as she's about to start fighting the supervillain, but it's super good. I highly recommend both of these series. Um, if you haven't read these already, they're great. I'm also actually currently working on a cosplay from Tomboy, um, which is also really, really great. It is um, an Action Lab TN Plus, which means I shouldn't be able to read it, but loopholes. Um, but it's a really, really great comic, and it's very, like, it's very vividly gory. So if you are squeamish, or if you have a problem with gore for other reasons, probably not read it. Maybe get a friend to read it for you and explain what happened. Um, it's not for the squeamish, but it is really great. And I'm working on the cosplay of the main character right here, Addison. So yeah, that's um, our comic books that we got this week. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.